wondering if the um, the ten thousand that you're paying, Alan, is that still in in, in place, or have you ex extended that? <coughs> That's, that's that's still capped. I mean, that's capped. It's that's still, still, it's still yeah. cap is in place. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's all I know. Yeah. Okay. How much uh, is left on the cap? We don't know. Hasn't been built. So we have yet. Some of it has been built, hasn't it? No. no. Okay. That's, 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 that's what I want to know. Since the last meeting. No. no. Well, but that, that, that's come. Well, well, you saw the bills at the last meeting, and we haven't received any bills going forward from there. And I was just going to say, I think Josh Moyer did an incredible article. And after reading that and the research, the hard research that he did, I can't imagine anybody wanting to touch this parking authority, this, this, this deal. It's unbelievable. You say you have to do research. Nobody's done better research than him. And the last thing is, I'd still like to see some financials that would get us to $20 million. Here the monthly income is $6,000. This is like fairy dust from heaven. Where are you getting $20 million? I'd like to see... I, th I believe that you're a finance person. I'd like to see how you get to the tw th th net present value of $20 million. I mean, it's complete insanity. And that's why this smells so bad and why we're concerned, because it does not make sense. That's what Desmond's going to tell us after they're waiting after after they right. analyze the numbers. They're going to tell us. You, you need them to tell you? They're experts. Well, they're I mean, they're, they're the national recognized company in the United States. I mean. I don't. Okay. All right. Thank you. I, I don't have an opinion on Thank you. The, the intermodal uh, thing isn't involved in this? Oh, yeah. yeah. The three parking But, garage. you know, what, the one you can with finances before. Right. They well, say it, they don't it's get own, any. It's run by Excuse the city. Me, but could you yes, introduce sir. yourself? Oh, sure. Alan Wallstetter. Uh, uh, and we're counsel to the authority uh, on this transaction, special counsel working with Murray's firm, and uh, the city actually runs well, you were the hired by the authority? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, anyway, it's on the city's, uh, the city gets that report. <coughs> this is an authority. The authority should get your report, too, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, we will. Will. Absolutely. But just to clarify, the, the intermodal garage and the 800 meters are, are the city's are under the city's uh, uh, management. That's one phase. So it's the three parking garages, the east, the central, and the north here, and the lot number six across from YMCA are under under the management of the parking authority. So it's a combined effort between the two entities. So all the management companies be abolished then, including the parking authority? I don't know. Uh, I, I, I no, don't no, know no, the, the park, is. no, parking authority will not be abolished. Parking Authority will have ongoing responsibilities, and according to what we have been provided in the RFQ, their authority will receive, we don't know yet how much it involves, but the authority will, according to that document, will receive enough money for ongoing its ongoing operations. But for the most part, you know that everything that's going to take place in the, if this deal goes through uh, at some point, the operation of the garages, as well as the parking meters, will all be by the person or persons or entity that paid the money for the for, for the for that to, for, to 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 get control of those facilities. Am I making myself clear? Yeah. Well, how about what, the people lag that run it now? They're out. They'll be out. The the, the the people who are the the people who, if there are bidders and someone successfully bids to the satisfaction of the authority and council, that party will probably choose and determine who will be its management consultant, if it has one, unless it does it in-house. Yeah, but I, you know, you're, you're leasing all the property. Right. And don't they have a right to do, run their own business? Then? Well, that's exactly right. right. That's what I just so said. Who, how is the council going to, how are you going to override them to, to no, no, say no, who no. they're going to hire to run? We're not. We're not. They're going to, they either, some of them, some of them will have their own leasing, some of them will have their own management companies. Those that bid do it all over the United States and have their own management companies. They may be running management, housing, uh, pu parking authorities and other. And They'll other hire companies. who they want. They'll hire exactly. Right. Yeah, exactly. Some will have their own, others will go out and, and hire someone. 
And so we have no, we, we won't have any control over that. And who's going to collect the rent for, the, for these properties? The donut shop? And the people who lease the property. That'll be their responsibility going forward. And the upkeep of there? That, that will all be spelled out in phase two. Um, there'll be structural reports done because when you lease for a long period of time, you have to make sure the property's going to be maintained. Right. So that, that will all be spelled out in the concessionaire agreement. Which is what was being called phase two. And they're going to, they're going, they're not going to pay the all the insurance that's coming out of the city insurance. No, that we will be. He said last month that we'll oh, come we'll, under the city insurance. We'll be co. The liability. Is the city going to be responsible for no, liability we, we after we it? We should be oh, named on no, the no, 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 policy, no. but they should no, pay for it. What I, what I said was that there are there's a provision in the RFQ. Which you said, didn't say that, sir. You just said no. That'll be under the blanket of the city policy. That's what you said. I, I, I don't recall that. Well, the way it should work is that they would carry the insurance and pay for it and name the city and the parking authority as, as uh, covered. Well, the figure is they have to be financial geniuses to do what they want to do and pay that money. You're right about that. <laughs> There's no question. I mean, that's, that's why we're doing an RQ. Um, we don't know what that number is. No. Desmond's going to give us an estimate, but the real number won't come in until these guys start come back with numbers. Start start to come back with numbers. But isn't the best prediction of the future current activity? In other words, what, whatever you're making now is probably the best indicator of what you'll make in the future. Not necessarily. They, they I mean, we have parking spots and prices per spot. It's not that hard of a, of a business. It really isn't. You have spots and prices per spot. And you have the theater that's probably going away. You have boss causes that's probably going away. You have private competition. Again, this just does not make sense at all. Well, if you're right, then we'll receive no responses to the RFQ. Or we'll receive low bids. Right, okay. Right. Mm -hmm. And at that point in time, everybody has to sit down and say, are we going to the point? There's no guarantee that anybody's going to pay $20 million. But there's no guarantee that they won't be for you. I, we just don't know that number. And, and there's also another, there's also something else. There's something called a concessionaire agreement. Uh, the newspapers this morning reported about, uh, uh, about the fact that there are a whole host of events that would be excluded or needed to be considered in terms of the, the, uh, the parking, like the St. Patrick's Day Parade and the, the Christmas Parade. I mean, when meters will be turned off and their people will not be parking there and they won't be paying them. So all of that and a whole host of other things are going to have to be considered. And this is a process. This is just the beginning just to find out if there's in, any interest. That's where we are right now. And things like insurance with you racer and some other things, those are all going to be part of what's called a concessionaire agreement. And frankly, we have never seen that. The thing is, with like the movies where it's free parking, the, the tie between the city working with businesses will be forever broken if, if this deal goes through. Forever. I don't have a copy of that agreement, so I don't, I don't know if that's transferable. I would assume it probably is, so that the, the free parking for the theater may not be affected. But I don't know, and we will find all But I'm just saying, just in general, it. whether it's Thai Thai restaurant or whoever, the link between the city wanting businesses to do well and the parking authority, there's no connection anymore. It's just the parking authority acting independently, basically owning a lot of Wilkes-Barre, working for their own self-interest. And as Josh Moyer pointed out, it's a disaster. That's all. Thank you. Anything else? If I may just ask uh, two questions before you adjourn. I, I am curious, uh, uh, Desmond, um, uh, maybe I got confused, but I thought there was a retainer for them to, to work just on phase two, and, and now they're on uh, phase one as well. Are, uh, are you paying them? No, we, we, it's capped. What we did was to cap our payment to Desmond at $5,000. Yeah. Uh, the, their proposal, obviously, was for a substantially greater amount of money. We only, uh, the, the authority capped it at okay. $5,000, right. and that's to get us through this exact phase we're in now, and that is to determine what their view is as to what the value is, 
and then to see whether we should proceed with an RFQ at the, at the amount that was initially stated. Okay, so that, that's, all, that's where we are. All right, yeah, okay. Uh, and just to clarify, the initial 20 million number, um, Alan, maybe you may be best suited to answer this, but that question's been thrown out a lot, and I would just kind of like to clarify where that initially did come from. Was, was that something you, you've done things like this before? Is that something where uh, you were able to come up with that number? Was that the number the city needed and you tried to make the RFQ around that? I mean, how did that dynamic work there? Right. It, uh, I, I'd love to um, answer that. At, at this point, I'd probably um, defer that to the authority or Drew McLaughlin at the city. Um, that said, um, I will say that um, tomorrow we will have from Desmond a uh, the benefit of their analysis to determine what is the right number to put in the RFQ. I, 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 I accept Alan's answer, but deferring it to the authority is not something. The, the number was given to us, but the authority had no input into that number. And Drew is not right. capable of giving you that number. Well, as, as I mean, you're obviously, He's just like you, a, you hired Fox Rothschild. I mean, is there a way that it would be possible to get this this answer? It, it, it has it has to the answer has to be with with uh, Mr. Wilson and with uh, the city. That we should, all, all I can tell you is that the authority and he would confirm this. We were we never had the, these people at the table never had any input into that number or the numbers that created that number, right. and that's the reason for hiring Desmond. Okay. Right. Murray, can I, can I ask, uh, will numbers. we be told tomorrow what uh, Desmond's uh, analysis shows, uh, that if the $20 million is realistic? You'll yeah, be told as soon as we had an opportunity to look at it, sure. Right. What yeah. you'll receive is, uh, sure. if, if you remember the press, is we'll make a point of if you give me your contact information, we'll make sure that uh, once uh, t Tom and Murray for the authority sign off on the RFQ, we will get you the RFQ that's going to be going out to bidders, and that will have in there sort of the latest. So rather than spending time on the history okay. of the number, what we're going to have is Desmond's new analysis that we never had before, that now they've been paid to do, that sort of fine tunes. And the other, the other question I have is, part of the RFQ, is part of the RFQ contain the information about those events that uh, Chicago ran into problems no. with it? When the no. meters are shut down and no. there's no revenue, is that part of the RFQ? No, it's no. not. Okay. That's all part of the concession. That's what I'm That'll saying. Be part of the RFP. You have to understand. It will be. Exactly. It'll be part of the RFP. The, the, the people at this table have never done an agreement of this sort before. None of these folks who sit on this authority have dealt with a lease of the parking authority facility. What we're talking about is a concessionary agreement that is going to be probably an inch thick or two mm -hmm. inches, whatever. It's going to be a major major document. There are a lot of things in that document that are going to have to be negotiated. Things like the dates and times and what's going to be available and how yep. what what constitutes what they refer to as a concessionaire uh, event, where the city has to pay the concessionaire. Mm -hmm. That's what has to happen. That's what happened. That's what <coughs> that's what that's what's going to Chicago. Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, they exactly. call it compensation event, mm -hmm. and they're yep. outlined oh. in the in the concessionaire's agreement. Mm -hmm. So it could be anything. There's a lot yeah. of involved. Literally, yeah. I mean, we, we, we honestly don't know. We're not. We're, there's nothing. Any question that you've asked, we try to give you answers. The best. Everything that we know, we're making available. But you only cross that bridge if you we don't, do. We're not there. If you go to phase right. two, exactly. That's correct. If we don't get a bid that's uh, that, that's that's large enough to mm -hmm. satisfy the authority and the council and all the event, and if the concessionaire events don't work, and 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 the concessionaire agreement. Isn't capable of being properly negotiated. Mm -hmm. You're not going to have. They're not going to have a deal anyway. Right. So that twenty million figure, I need to go to the mayor essentially, right? To find that. I just find it. I, I don't mean to uh, criticize the whole everybody here, but I just find it a little disturbing that this twenty million dollars has been floating out there, and nobody here here knows why it was, where it came from. I mean, w wouldn't you have like a question of like, gee, well, you know, what makes it worth twenty million? I mean. Well, with the answer, the, 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 the answer I, I think that's going to be meaningful is that we, since then, have hired Desmond to look at that number, and they'll be giving us an answer tomorrow to make sure that they believe now that the now that that is that is fair expectation. That's all. Okay. Thank you. And, and, and so that you know, it's a fair question that you're asking, but the authority recognized 
that that number needed to be verified before we put anything out into the public. All right. All right. Thank you. So th that's exactly what we did for five thousand dollars. We hired a, a, a national parking company to say to us, "Is this number real or is it not?" Okay. Okay. And Murray, the the responses to the RFQs will they offer a number what they think it's worth, or will they just not bid if they don't think twenty million dollars or whatever the number Desmond comes up with is? Uh, yeah. Well, the reasonable. the prospect we'll have we'll be having discussions with the bidders throughout. There'll be questions that'll be asked and answers. We've created an extranet site with all the information that the authority and their council has given, as well as the management company, so that the bidders, uh, through a password-protected system, can receive all the bidding documents. And throughout during that process, we believe we'll be able to get a good sense of what that is with Desmond working. And my last sites. question is: whatever the number is for upfront payment, the seven million or whatever eight million for the intermodal yep. uh, indebtedness comes off that. Also, what about all the fees that have been rung up? All comes out. All, all comes, comes out of that top. 20 million. Well, there's a, yeah, but there's Desmond's, just to clarify the answer that was given, when Desmond gives us a number tomorrow, that's going to be included in the RFQ. So whatever that number is, I mean, it could be less than 20, right. it could be more than right. 20. But the RFQ is going out with a number in it because the Desmond people have told us you have to put a number in there. Now, if they think the $20 million is unrealistic, they're going to give us a number that they think is realistic. And if this this board doesn't like the number they come back with? Well, no, that's what we said before, Bill. Right. But that, that's the point that I made and, and that Tom seconded, and I think the authority agreed. At this point, with the amount of money that's been spent, if the number is less or more, it does. it's not dispositive. There may be opportunities for us to negotiate right. something more uh, in, in either event. And if it's more than 20, then obviously it's beneficial. But without knowing what it is, we, we, can't, we can't say that it's going to be good or bad uh, in terms of the response. If, if, if the number that Desmond picks is 17 million, but we get bidders who are willing to pay 22 million, uh, we'll find that out after the RFQ goes out and discussions are had. So it makes sense for us with the amount of money that's been spent already, to have that RFQ go out, and let's find out what interest there is. I mean, at this point, why hold it even if it's less? Send it out. If it turns out that the essentially we paid for it already. So those responses of the RFQs, Murray, will include a, a, a number no. from the. No, they will. In, they, they, if if it says that the minimum bid is twenty million dollars, and somebody responds and says I'm interested, that's what we'll know. And then there will be further discussions after that. It, it, it provides, if you read the RFQ carefully, it also says that there's an opportunity to ask for what essentially are whisper bids. So that you can say to a bidder, look, are you willing to pay this much money or are you just saying you're interested because you want to see if you can get it for whatever number you want? But, but say that number comes in like at 15 million. All you're going to know then by the response is that somebody's willing to pay 15 million. It's a right. minimum, a minimum. No, 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 no. Doesn't say that somebody won't pay more. Oh, okay. And that's why it's helpful for us to send it to, to issue the RFQ now, send it out, and then begin to discuss it with bidders and find out what's really out there. I mean, it, right. it's, 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 it's a logical right. next step. You might ask if somebody came in at 15 million. What what do you need to get to 20? What do you need to get to 20 million dollars? They, they might say whatever. I don't know uh, more land for me, whatever it may be. Then you can look at what they want to do to get to the number you want to be at. But we don't we don't know until it goes out. So you'll find out tomorrow what that number is I, about Desmond's three p.m. Desmond's number, mm -hmm. and then you'll be sending you. Uh, you and uh, Mr. Upberg uh, will be okaying any changes to the RFQ, and then uh, come Monday, uh, the RFQ will be sent out. No, we didn't yeah. give a date. We'll see. We'll but it, it'll go out. It'll schedule. go out pretty quickly. Yeah, I mean, it might be Friday. Could be Friday. Could be Monday. I have a question. Do sure. things change? We're only talking twenty million, or, and how many years? Was there not well, the, something the, in that, there? Yeah, we changed that. We changed that. Initially, it was the number was twenty million dollars for either a thirty or, or thirty or fifty. We mm -hmm. changed that to be twenty million for thirty for thirty uh, for thirty mm -hmm. and thirty million for fifty. But those numbers may change tomorrow because we didn't have backup for what those numbers represented, 
And so that's yes. what Desmond's going to tell us. Okay, it's just that's, that I didn't hear any, I'm not here in the 30. Yeah, I know. No. So I didn't Sorry. know something no, changed. That's, you're absolutely right. right. You're absolutely right. <clears throat> I have a question. What do we owe? Seven million on the intermodal? I, I think it's seven million. And do we owe debt. any other debts on any of the other buildings? I think the seven million I was told is total debt on all the garage. The only garage that has debt on it is the north garage, the central and the east garage. Well, the east has a million dollar debt on it, but it's an old loan that's being paid back uh, over time. Um, I don't recall when the balloon payment is on that, but that's included in the seven million dollars. It's my understanding, so it's. Breakdown was five, two, and one, was it? Right. So it's it's roughly eight million dollars. So that's twenty minus eight. We're going to right. come out with twelve million. Well, once again, using.